That's right, Gina. I'm here at Cog Hill Charter School where nearly a dozen students were told participated in a program, a social promotion program called Project Success. Now, according to a document given to WDSU by parents, students had to have perfect attendance in this program, no behavior incidents, pass required state testing, including the LEAP test, and complete and pass this intensive curriculum. This was from fall 2018 to summer 19. A parent I spoke with, Tamara Bush, she tells me her son not only passed all of the curriculum, but got high scores on a standardized test. Bush and other students, they've been calling and emailing the principal and even the board members of the school, trying to get an official document that shows the students can be promoted, but no solid response as of yet. Until then, they're not sure of where they can register their child for the fall, and time's running out. Yeah, so I, I mean, I mean, I'm just not speaking for my son, Jerrine. I'm speaking for other parents also, too. I didn't network with other parents. I didn't email other parents to get them to take and call me back about this matter because I just don't want this situation swept under the rug. Now, before this aired, we reached out to the principal, Pamela Marshall. We spoke to her. She referred us to the school's attorney. No response as of just yet. We also reached out to the school's governing board of the Better Choice Foundation. This is the only school under that government. And we're going to hear more from the mom and the courses that they took throughout the year. Reporting from Gentilly, Sherman DeSalle, WDSU News.